Alright, we're gonna get this game started between Easy Boy and Desu Life. First map is on the Eye of the Desert. This map. Cavalry units, really hate it. You have unicorns, definitely do use them. So let's look at the boxes here from Easy Boy. He have the Castell tank and Landia's tank. Yep, it's still pretty interesting. No juggler at all. There's a Brenda here. Brenda is an interesting choice here. She does have frontal assault, but mm -hmm. this map, he really needs to use some sort of infantry troops or lancer troops. Only not cavalry, otherwise this desert is going to ruin her. Yes, it is. Desert life here, also going with the first band Landius. Both players are playing some sort of single target strategy. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if people are afraid of Ares or also wasn't confident in Ares. But that works. We have a cell. So that's a life going with the second pick Luna here. The Luna is very strong against the magical damage, so we might see Mystery Knight, possibly Rachel being left up. But Luna is just a good enabler for stuff like Juggler. It will give you a lot of mobility, so you can engage a lot easier. Also, faction buffs for Claret. Easy Boy also going with a Luna second pick here, along with the still, that means all of his. But units are going to have plus 3 mobility on one of the turns when they do engage. I can probably see something like uh, Sigma here being good. Angelina would have a lot of move if she uses unicorns. Even Shalenka here would be good. I still have not read any of Shilinka's talents or skills. Hmm. So Claret does get picked up. I think she is able to kill Estelle quite she easily. Or at least a lot easier than against other tanks. Since you have two attacks and still only have one life. Right, so is he here going with Iris pickup while also banning two healers? I think leaving up Iris is an okay choice here, just because does you already have a Luna? That is going to give a lot of his units that mobility that he doesn't need from Iris teleport. Now having a juggler being teleported though is still going to be kind of threatening. Mm -hmm. Do you think there should be a Brenda pickup on any side? Nope. Sigma. Oh, uh -huh. I think Desu is definitely going to pick up the Mystery Knight here. Last. He does have Iris teleport. Mm -hmm. Also have Luna here, then without a faction buff here, she can still threaten to kill a lot of units here. Yeah, she can snipe. Like Sigma, still can do do a lot of damage to still here. It's definitely going to make the Sigma move very awkwardly. Well, Brenda here 
could be okay. It's dead. No, I don't think she is going to one shot the dog. Me neither. I guess I should blank out the stream when oh, it yeah. goes here. Yep, yep, yep. I guess it's not really the best idea to use cavalry troops, but they can definitely do it. Anyways. So I think it's a better idea to go with like double lancer on Brenda. We're facing Mystery Knight. Mystery Knight probably using unicorns on this map. Using double lancers means less likely going to die to spear if you're going to get it. game has just started. We're going to begin game one in just a second after they finish picking skills and troops. Alright, that's going to start now. And Brenta ended up with the cavalry troops anyways, so Current we'll see how zero. her mobility <laughs> yeah. ends up uh, here. Looks like Izzy here. Alright, he's back. He should at least check out all the skills the opponents brought here. So far, still have not checked anyone yet. He's going in blind. Not the best of decisions. Right now, Izzy still have no clue what the Luna brought, what the MK brought, Struggler brought, and even what the Iris brought. Hmm. Those troops. So, looking at the skills on this side, Struggler is not going to have any sort of defense buffs, but Struggler have 1k defense, even without a defense buff. It's quite impressive. The rest of the units have the standard skills, and Mystery Knight have very high defense. So, turn one, neither Luna is going to use their Wind God Realm. Mr. Life's 
It's 3 night, it's not really in a good position to be teleported here, so he's probably just going to run 5 blocks in some direction. Maybe hope for a breeze proc, trigger Tyr's helmet, and engage some other time. Interesting though, because I feel like if he would have put MK near the beginning and just waited for Sigma to end his turn, you might have been able to sight Sigma, and then there isn't much of a threat. This is weird. Alright, teleport the Brenda, so now Brenda can actually move through all of these terrain. Looking to actually one shot the dog here. Or two shot the dog if Sigma is also in range. I think Sigma is in range here. He is in range. So I'm counting uh, six one. squares, yes. Sigma is in range to also attack the juggler, so this should be double attack on the juggler. Mm -hmm. Now this struggler does have a ton of defense, not even having a defense buff. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, you have backup. What is... oh, is Iris too low? That is certainly pretty low int for an Iris. Maybe he was pointing it out because he realized something's missing. Gear-wise. Hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> it was too late now. <laughs> yeah. For every match, I always remind people to check their gears and stuff. Kinda forgot for this one. <laughs> Alright, so the Mystery Knight gets teleported here. Whoa, but 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 that allows a. Uh, would you strike first and then attack, or would you just attack to give yourself more cavalry boost? Ah, uh, you're going to strike here. Strike increases your attack by twenty percent, so that's going to be better than. Well, right now her attack is increased by what is it? Ten point six six percent. Yeah, which is. An alright mount, but let's see what this can do. Yeah. Yeah, basically it does nothing here. It does apply heal reversal, so the juggler is most certainly here. And now MK cannot reach. Uh oh, MK attacker. can just attack the Brenda here and then move back. Yeah, but would you consider that to be effective? Use of her? Yes. Brenda is most certainly dead here. Yeah, she. And then when Definitely Sigma dead. kills the juggler, you can go off with Claret. Ooh. You can step back. Yep. Yeah, the Sigma can move two blocks back using uh, roundabout. roundabout. But she's, uh, he's still going to be out of the stealth guard range and can just go down to the uh, barret. He has to kill. Yep. This is fine. Claret is, yeah, in range. <laughs> I'm kicking kill as well. Hmm, MK might be able to do that. Yeah, this is still have no <laughs> defense here. <laughs> so and Mighty then, uh, Mystery did use spear already, so the uh, Sigma here can attack. melee attack and just get out of range. 
Similarly, you can also use the Luna here to attack Barret and then use move again to block for Sigma. Correct. Actually, the move again is pointless. So. Since you just need to be in front of Sigma to block for Sigma. Yeah, so the safer play here would have been to use the Luna oh, dead. to attack. Sigma here took way too damn too way too much damage attacking into the Claret. And dies to the AoE here. I wonder why he brought wind pressure. So here I would use the Wind God Realm and then skill to attack the Mystery Knight and then have Iris finish off the Claret. So this for kill. And then it's just going to be a battle of the Luna versus Iris. Can she reach? No, she can't. So, Izzy boys, Iris might be at a disadvantage here, not having a single target heal. Iris also didn't bring the Oh Rangers. So mm -hmm. can I actually die to a single attack from Luna? Both ones can, yeah. Easy boy definitely need to wait up two more turns for the skill to come back up. In that time, time he's going to be at a quite a disadvantage here. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Is this the last? Alright, so the Iris is in danger of being killed off here by the Juno. Mm hmm. Depending on how much the defense this Luna have, just a consideration for just moving Luna back. In the back, yeah. Or moving the Iris back. Neither are the place. We have mass resist. Okay. I feel that. Oof. What? Alright, the Luna does survive. If this life's Claire, uh, Luna here had Griffin Riders, that would have been kill. It's alright, you can just wait up. Oh, it's 20% damage taken. Yeah, there's also the skill, which gives you 15% use damage taken as well. We're taking a lot less damage. Last right doesn't matter, because Ada for health. So here Izzy can just end the turn with Iris Talent and heal back up. Mm -hmm. And also here, if he had a single target heal from Iris, that would have been very good. Yep. Go back. Oh. So, I think right now he can hide behind Luna. Oh, now he can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. Well, you can certainly attack that uh, Iris here, but your healing from Iris is really low. It's not enough. Yeah. So you can make this attack, but Luna will certainly just go down here to the other Luna. Single target heal from Iris would be really good, but since you don't have it, you're kind of forced to use your mass heal here. Which still doesn't heal for a whole lot. This Luna can still just go down right here. Mm -hmm. It goes down. Yeah. I think maybe something's missing on Iris. An amount of healing uh, was really pitiful. Probably should not pick Iris again. <laughs> he needs to swap her out if he can. <laughs> Teleport is nice, but that healing amount is way too unfortunate. Maybe some sort of gear is missing, like weapon, possibly accessory, or maybe it's just on the wrong enchants, like steel, or thorns, mm -hmm. or they just have really bad enchants, or too much health, too much defense, too much magic defense, and not enough int. I think uh, Iris's int should be about 800, 850 ish, on buffed in PvP. That should be the minimum amount. Well, for most healers, that should be the minimum amount. Okay, so we're going into game two here, still on the Eye of the Desert map. Again, not a great map for a bunch of these foot units. Brenda. Now Izzy Boy gets turn priority, so we can see how you make uses of this. So this game is he going with Antina? Alternate can be pretty good, or you can just use it to freeze your opponents. Trying to force your opponent to spread out the frozen. Luna gets picked up again. There are some good units that they can pick up. Actually, three of the healers here are very good for Dead's Life now.
a lot of options that's alive and do here. Well, he's not going to get the claret here again, but he can still pick up something like Mystery Knight. And then there are enough support to make Mystery Knight decent. With the amount of defense that Estelle had in the first game though, it's possible that he could also just kill the Estelle with something like a Yusuke punch. So the Mystery Knight does get taken up. Luna is pretty good. Now Liana is going to be very good having both Gospel and also act again. Melda can use 3C for their boosting Mystery Knight's mobility. And she doesn't really need a attack buff here either. With just the King's Crown and possibly 20% more damage increased, we should be able to kill off any one of Easy Boy's units since they have so low magic defense. The only units that are potentially safe are anyone that can use Sorceress. And Luna. A world though, Lestil should also be able to survive Three Knights attacks. Hmm. So, again, going with the Sprinda in game one, they didn't do a whole lot. We saw how high defense the juggler had, but her without a defense. Sprinta with just a stealth buff, not using strike. The attack was very pitiful. It was 1300. So couldn't really do that much damage to the juggler. Is he tempted to ban healers now? Alright, banning healers and picking up these sort of units can work. Drop a whole bunch of AoEs from Mystery AOEs. Knight. Need to make sure to change. Oh, you should uh, blank out the screen. Sure. Now Yusuke can still just clean up after all the other units die though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping to see some AoE from MK, some pushing from Angelina. Mm. Make sure they have the correct troop choices as well. So there are no healers and no spells on this life's team, so he really have to spread apart. EA can surely be hit by AoEs, so he is kind of free to roam wherever he likes. And then the other units can just stay far apart from each other to not get hit by Angelina's 3C ability.
put this stream back on now, I guess. Wait. So far, it's looking like very standard abilities on both sides. Yeah. He just needs to be careful with um on Izzy Boy's side, he needs to be careful with the uh, Hiei because there might be some extra mobility with Luna. So Izzy's Mystery Knight does breeze, but it's going to I think remove the mobility buff from From Estelle. Yeah, removes the mobility buff from Estelle. So after this turn she's only going to have 5 mobility after this, and being in front of a pillar means her mobility is greatly reduced here. Can't really strike through impassable terrain. So next turn she's still going to need a breeze, otherwise not going to be good for her mobility. Now this life's Mystery Knight also Priest. With the help of Luna Aura, she could be in range next turn. We could see that happen. You can see Desu Life just moving up, ending turn. There's Breeze everywhere. Faction buff for Yusuke, move up, faction buff for Luna. And the next turn, use Wind God Realm. That way, everyone is pretty much free to jump in. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a very strong turn for Desolite. As Izzy Boy, you kind of have to expect this and prepare for it. Okay. That's interesting. But um, the Hiei still cannot be hit by AoE, so he cannot right. use 3C here. We might see the Angelina jump in anyways, kind of baited <laughs> by the Hiei. If he oh. does, could be bad. Game can just end here. Uh, the Luna just moves. Hmm. hmm. Oh, oh. Alright, he notices that he cannot 3C the game, so probably not going to see that happen here. And there is no way to actually alternate any of his units forward. Pillars. <laughs> Yeah, blocked off by the pillars. Not good. Is he gonna go for single target? He can't. Oh, okay. He's positioning himself for next turn. Uh, no. There's no way to position yourself here. Because your opponent decides where they want to move, and there's really no way that this life mm -hmm. is going to end the turn with Yusuke. That's within range of his team. So, really the Angelina move is a waste here. Well, She's like, forced to move back next turn. Trying to threaten Yusuke being in range or not of guard. She cannot one-shot anyone. There's no beliefs and everyone's at full health. 
There's no way Yusuke can go there. A decently built Yusuke, even without Bracer, should be able to survive. Unless she had lightning. That's the only way maybe that... Yeah, if she, uh, the Angelina had lightning, then yeah, Yusuke can potentially go down if it's not fixed immune against Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even this works. So yep, there's no way cool. for any of the units to be hit by Angelina 3C, so now Angelina just have to move back. Yep. Actually, no. Uh, no, you, yeah, you can't hit him in any way. I thought for a second I thought you could hit he but you can't. Mm. Not even through the middle. Actually, there is one way to hit the he I think. But yeah, but you, you miss out on hitting you three. You have to <laughs> move below he and then strike upwards. That might hit here. It, it, it won't, because I think it's on the edge, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the edge, but you're kind of in front of it, aren't you? I don't know how that works. I never tried it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. He, he notices something. You can try this, and then, See, okay, yeah, this is my it idea, and it doesn't work either. So there's actually no way to hit this here. here. There's only one tile you can hit here with the AoE. <laughs> it's in the center tile. Yeah. <laughs> hit the here and he's boy just have to move back with this Angelina here. None of these work. <laughs> yeah. And right now, this life is having his strongest turn here. He can transform with Yusuke and then mobility up. Oh, what? Yeah, he's not gonna What's do anything. Are you trying to freeze? Um, game's kind of over here. He can try to freeze Yusuke in the fog here that if he doesn't. That is such a big RNG. <laughs> well, he already used uh, water control here, so there's I mean, no yeah, there's, he back. can't go back. I mean, he really didn't need to do this. Guess this is just a free kill here. Oh! <laughs> Izzy Boy's a genius. <laughs> he... I love how your tone changed. <laughs> yes, he, he's a genius here. Just freeze the use case, deal with the use case. Genius, this is but genius. But Desu Life here can sack any one of his units here, and then that will actually free up the uh, use case here. So, as Desu Life, you can actually get out of this position here. You just need to use uh, a Luna, and then speed up the rest of your units here. Use Wind God Realm forward. And then you jump in with your units here, and then you just throw away this uh, Hiei here. Yep. Because once your units die, Yusuke gets dispelled <laughs> from the Mirror Hammer. Yes, that's correct. Ah, uh, that reminds me, I don't have a Mirror Hammer. Oh. So this Yusuke is mine, it's definitely dead. But, I'm sure Death Life uh, is a big whale here. I'm sure he have at least like three Mimir Hammers, right? And then, just throw away one of these units, yeah, like this. And then if the Hie goes down, you're going to dispel the freeze. MK is absolutely dead. Now if so, he's smart, yeah, what you're you doing here he. is you don't kill Hie this turn, but you kill him at the start of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Which means oh. you can't do this. Oh, too late. We're gonna see too a concede late. right now. Concede. Concede right now. Concede. <laughs> oh, that RNG. It's over. And and yeah, look, Brenda's dead. Yeah, Brenda's dead. There is a uh, forest there, so MK can just two range. Now, it is facing against a uh, full Lancer unit here. It's and, dead. yep, can see it. Yep, <laughs> this is over. Just can't survive amount against that, that amount of uh, magic damage here. 
when they have no magic defense and now you're just down to a Tiaras and Estelle here. But he, he was so close to actually having the win. Well, not really, but just having something go in his favor. to concede. So Yusuke here can just stay out of range. There isn't actually a shield on Estelle, mm -hmm. or actually a shield from Tiaras. So the only way to prevent the heal law is if you use Phoenix Dance, Phoenix Wave, whatever that is. And right now, no one can really deal with that Mystery Knight here anyways. Mystery Knight can just get another Spear, and then Spear the Stell. The Spear does apply one heavy, unremovable debuff, so if it's like a stun, heal block, anything like that, that could also be game ending. I guess we'll get to see how tanky this Estelle is. Mm -hmm. So, 935 defense. That's... This is awful. You just ask Estelle with full defenses is like 12, 1300 defense? Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. So Mr. Knight can spear now, can't really apply any debuffs here, but it's still going to do very good damage. There is Gastrot. There should be a Beast Shock here. <laughs> Defense, not good. Definitely work on the defense more. Get it to 12 1300 defense after full buffs. Maybe then it can survive. Like how we have seen the Mitri's Axe Estelle survive against Claret's double attacks. That's very good. This one just dies. The single attack. Yep, yep, yep. Well, that was. <laughs> yeah, it's quick matches. That was exciting. Second t second game, but excitement died down. Yeah, the freeze was very nice, except then you just kind of threw the game. It wasn't really that good of a play hit there anyways, but maybe it could have worked. Yeah, I think he was, af he was afraid, and rightfully so, of PA reaching him. Everyone and had Breeze, <laughs> and then there's yeah. him as well, so everyone was able to reach that turn. So really needed to move back everyone, but really couldn't. Yeah, there's no way to guess that he was going to get breathed. <laughs> yep. Alright, that's the Thank game. You. Desert Life wins 2-0 against Izzy Boy. That's it for now. Thank you for watching the stream, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.